Good morning everybody. Hello and I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to my new YouTube channel called Let's Cook It. Today I'm going to be making a blueberry buckle. Uh, before we get started I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Ed. I like to cook and hopefully on this video I'm going to make some really good things for you guys and soon I hope to collaborate with friends and family who also like to cook and I will have them on my channel as well. We'll make some great stuff together and we'll just have a really good time. Okay, so as I said, uh, today we're gonna make a blueberry buckle. For those not familiar with a blueberry buckle or buckle as it is sometimes called, it is very similar to a coffee cake. Now I am going to put the recipe in the description, but I'm also going to tell you uh, what I have used. And also want to let you know that I've done a few of the steps beforehand because this is my first video. I don't know exactly quite what to expect and I didn't want to take up a bunch of time. Um, so I've already prepared some of the ingredients, but um, we're going to put it all together in the pan. Put that buckle in the oven about 25 to 30 minutes at 375 and it's going to turn out really nice. It is a really good dessert and I think you're really going to like it. Um, you can use blueberries as I'm going to do. I have also used blackberries. I have used raspberries, but the thing is you want to make sure that the fruit you use isn't really wet um, because it's going to make the buckle really heavy and it's not supposed to be a really heavy dessert. Also, the blueberries I'm using um, are frozen and I do use them from frozen. I've always had good luck with that. Um, I rarely buy fresh blueberries. Um, because they tend to not use them as quick as I should. I don't want them to get bad in the refrigerator. Okay, so let's get started. So the uh, ingredients that you're going to need, and I'm going to be reading off of this copy, so forgive me. Uh, we're going to need a three quarters cup of white sugar, a quarter cup of shortening, one egg, a half cup of milk, two cups of all purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, half teaspoon of salt, two cups of blueberries, fresh or frozen, a half cup of white sugar, a third cup of all-purpose flour, a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a quarter cup of butter softened. Now the first thing you want to do, of course, is preheat that oven to 375 degrees because we're going to bake this in an 8 by 8, by 8 inch pan and it's going to be in there for 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, the first step you're going to do is cream together the three quarters cup of sugar, shortening in the egg, which I have already done. So I'm going to put the camera down so you can see this first step, okay? Now that is the sugar, shortening, and egg, which has been creamed together. All right, so that was your first step. Now the second step is in a separate bowl, you mix together the two cups of flour, the baking powder, and the salt. And you're going to put this sugar mixture into this. And then you're going to stir in your blueberries. Let me get them into the shot. There's the blueberries right there. And then you're going to pour all of this into this 8x8 eight eight greased pan. All right. So let's get started with this. All right. So I've mixed everything together, like I've said. And I'm going to put this creamed mixture into the flour. Just scrape all of that into there. Now the batter is going to be really heavy. Well, or should I say kind of thick. It's not going to be uh, really the consistency of cake batter. Okay, so just kind of stir that all up in there, all right? Stir that together. And if you're like me, you're a little bit of a messy cook, especially when it comes to flour. It kind of like shoots up out of the bowl. All right. But I try not to be too messy here for you guys because I want to make a really good impression on my first video. And I do hope you like it. Also, if you like my video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, really helps me out. And I would like to uh, know that if you guys make this video, I'm sorry, if you make this recipe, let me know how it turns out for you. Let me know if you've added anything, any other ingredients. Um, like to hear your tips and ideas and share some recipes if you like. And uh, 
perhaps I'll make those recipes if you share them on my channel. All right, so let's get back to this mixture. Okay, now I'm gonna get all this together. Stir in those blueberries here. All right. Now also you're going to put the milk in here. Um, so it's going to be a little bit thick for right now because the milk isn't in there. But you're going to put that half cup milk in this. So it will stir a little bit better. So there's the milk right there. Okay. Stir it up. As you can see, it's kind of coming together here, and it is thick. And so also what you might need to do is get another spoon and scrape this off. Oh, so it comes together. See, I told you I was going to make a mess. There's a little bit of the mixture here on the countertop. I'm not going to put it in the bowl. I'm going to leave it there. Okay. So... It does take a little bit to mix up. Well, see, there's some more on the countertop, I told you. All right, again, that's not going to go in the bowl. All right. It is a little hard to work with. And honestly, if you wanted to, I think you could probably add a little bit more milk so it does uh, come together a little bit better. And you know what? I think I'm going to do that. I think it's okay to put a little bit more milk in. Uh, not a whole lot. I just think it's too uh, thick right now. So let's just add a little bit more milk. And honestly, with recipes, I really feel like you can make them your own. You know, you can add to or take away from whatever, whatever, and you uh, just season to your own taste. Uh, you know, you can't go wrong. It's cooking. It's food. It's fun. So, as you can see, adding that milk, uh, the little bit of extra milk, I think it did help. But it is still a little bit too thick for my taste. So let's add a little bit more. Okay. All right. I think that's better. Now, this is my first video that I've ever made for YouTube, or my first video, actually, for anything. And I, you know, um, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I've always been interested in cooking. Um, I like to eat, of course, as you can probably tell that. But anyway, no worries. So, all right. So, it's still a little bit thick. But we are going to put this into the greased pan. We're going to put this over here. Let me get it in the shot. Pour this into the pan, or rather spoon it into the pan, because it doesn't really pour. All right. So... Kind of press it down into the pan here and get that other spoon. Scrape this off and just kind of tap it down. It doesn't have to be pretty. It only has to taste good. And I think it's going to. I think I'm going to be really pleased with this. And I hope you guys are too. All right. So the last step that I mentioned is to make the topping. You want to combine that half cup of sugar the one third cup of flour, the cinnamon, and the butter, which I softened. Now I've already cut it together with one of these handy tools. If you don't have one of these, it's okay. You can use a slotted spoon, you can use a fork. It works just as well. All right, so I've got all of that on there. 
or in there rather. So what I'm going to do now is sprinkle this over the cake batter. See, it really wasn't a sprinkle, was it, folks? It was more like of a pour. And my hands are clean, and I'm just going to scatter this all over the buckle. All right. That's a little bit of singing. I hope you really like that. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video. I have already preheated my oven. I'm going to put it in, like I said, 375 degrees in a greased 8 by 8 inch pan. And this is going to bake for 25 to 30 minutes or until the top buckles. Now, if you're wondering how this recipe got its name, I wondered about it too. Um, I did research it because I heard the name Blueberry Buckle on a show actually and wondered what it was. So I did a little bit of research. Uh, basically, um, it's a coffee cake for lack of a better term. At least that's how I describe it. Now, the reason it's called a buckle is because after it bakes or while it bakes, the crumb topping that I put on there will buckle or crack, much like hot pavement does in the summertime. That made sense to me once I learned that's what it does. All right, so everybody, I'm going to put this into the oven and I'll come back in 25 to 30 minutes and hopefully this is going to be done. We're going to let it cool a little bit and we're going to cut a piece of it and eat it and it's going to be great i can just tell and also want to tell you that you can put vanilla ice or ice cream on top of this that's really good or if you want to make your own homemade whipped topping which is good make that with heavy cream it's so good put that on there it's going to be great you can also add a little bit more blueberries into your ice cream topping or your blue or your whipped cream topping okay so I'm going to pause the video. We're going to put it into the oven. We, meaning I, and the two dogs who are staring at me because they think they're going to get a piece of it. And you know what? They might. Okay, so I'll be back in just a little bit. We're going to bake this up and we'll see how it turns out. All right, I will be back in just a little bit.